Today's topic is force majeure. This is for all you attorney geeks out there, or clients and friends. Um, essentially, for those that don't know, that aren't in the legal jargon world, essentially means uh, it's an act that you can't plan for that absolves people from meeting their obligations. So if you were a builder in 2020 and you had you signed a contract that said, I will deliver and be done by so-and-so date, there's usually a clause in there, a force majeure clause that says, well, if something that no one, you know, a nuclear attack, something of that nature, you're, you're absolved. Of course, that year it was COVID. And so this clause kicked in for a lot of people in many industries. Why do I bring it up? Because I think there's a lot of relevance when it comes to investing. The reality is markets hate uncertainty. And generally when you see quick changes in, in direction in the markets, it has to do with a force majeure, sort of an act that no one could prepare for or know about. Let's give two examples. One is COVID. So COVID happened and the year started. We thought it was a little flu in 2020. Next thing you know, this act that no one could prepare for, no one had, you know, none of our investment analysts or anywhere said, oh boy, this, this disease coming out of uh, China may ravish the universe for two years. No one saw that coming and you couldn't plan for it. You couldn't position your portfolio. And by the time the data was here, the markets reacted as they did, and next thing you know, there was a huge sell-off. That's example one. Example two, a little more current. So uh, last year, the markets had a pretty bad year and it was on interest rate hikes. And yes, in hindsight, you can say, well, we knew inflation was here and it wasn't going to, it was not getting any better because monetary policy or COVID or whatever you want to blame it on. The reality is, if you transport yourself back to sort of third, fourth quarter 2022, interest or inflation was kind of in that five-ish percent range. And the consensus was it was transitory, so much so that the Fed went into last year saying they would raise interest rates three times for a total of 0.75% all, all of 2022. The, so let, let me re reiterate, the Fed, who is made, comprised of seven of the most astute, uh, intelligent bankers and economists on the planet, that was their expectation. It was their expectation on inflation. That was their expectation on monetary policy. Inflation kept kicking up, kind of a force majeure moment. And what happened, what the expectation was, was not the reality. We were stuck trying to figure out what to do and how to adjust. You couldn't have planned for it in advance necessarily. And the Fed ended up raising interest rates 4.75%, seven, a matter of seven times last year. And as recently a couple of times this year. So it's a long way of saying you can, even a, the best investment professionals can't know everything. They can't plan for everything. You, they can be planned. They can have good strategies. I know our team does. There's thousands of data points to analyze. And when the, the information is flawed, like the, like the uh, 08 crisis, or things come up that you can't prepare for, that's the issue. So how do you best invest? You create an investment strategy. You you, you're willing to adjust as information comes out and change course, but you have a strategy you follow, follow. You analyze all the data. I know our team does a fantastic job. And then you, you adjust accordingly. It's the only way we know how to do it, and it's the most effective way. So force majeure, there you go. A little education and some comparison. Hope you enjoyed it. As always, I'm Andrew Rosen, President of Diversified. Stay wealthy, stay healthy, and stay happy. Take care.